With a recent spike in COVID cases, the Boise School District announced they would be moving to full remote learning starting after Thanksgiving break. But the largest school district in the state, West Ada, plans to continue on their hybrid schedule. Chase Beefelt has more on West Ada's plan. Chase. Tammy, in short, West Ada has no plans to change what they're currently doing in their schools right now. I talked to a district spokesperson earlier today and listened in on the governor's press conference. Here's what was said about in-person learning. My fellow Idahoans. Governor Brad Little says with every passing day, we are breaking records in the amount of COVID deaths, hospitalizations, and new cases we have here in Idaho. And despite a rollback to a modified stage two today, the governor had this to say about kids in schools. Our kids need to remain in school for in-person instruction as much as possible. The Boise School District announced a return to full on remote learning after Thanksgiving break, while West Ada's schedule is going to stay the same. What the governor said aligns nearly perfectly with our views at West Ada. West Ada is currently on an alternating hybrid schedule. Grades K through five are full time in person, while grades six through 12 meet in person three days a week. The district is monitoring COVID on a school by school basis. So right now we have several data points that we will continue to utilize that will allow us to evaluate each school to find out, do they have a lot of cases? Do they have a lot of isolations? Do they have a lot of teacher absences? West Ada did have to put some of their special education programs on hold after staff members tested positive for COVID. But those issues have been resolved. If there becomes a point where it's no longer safe, then we would certainly move to remote learning. It might be one school, it might be two, it could be 10, it could be district wide, but that's something that we will evaluate. But we know that kids need to be learning in the classrooms. The best thing we can do if we want our kids back in school is do all those things that I just begged the people of Idaho to do to lower the spread. Now it's up to it's up to the school board to vote on whether or not kids should return to remote learning at home. Uh, the next meeting is Tuesday, November 17th at 6 p.m. Tammy. Thank you, Chase, for that. And 